Queensland lead two to nothing. Simmons at dummy half. Straight ahead, linking up with Sterling. Now Sterling is only 10 metres out from the Queensland line. Opportunity now for New South Wales. Blind side comes Roach on the Pierce. Back to Roach. Across to Sterling. Now to Folks. A dummy. Linking up with Jack. Jack comes in. Through one pretty flimsy attempt at tackling, and over adjacent to the post. How sweet it is! Yes, one of the true card-carrying greats of state of origin, Gary Jack joins us. Welcome, Gary. Thank you. All the guests that we've had on the show, it's the first time anybody's brought notes for themselves. Is it? <laughs> Just to remember what your life's been like. <laughs> <laughs> a, flat, a flat point, I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Before, before we do that, there's just something in, in common you have with uh, dear Fletch at the end there. I'll probably split the screen here and, and have a look. Can, what's going on with your fingers? So... Yeah, I'll get the nanu nanu in the finger. I know yeah. Fletch has had it for a long time. Same <laughs> as me. <laughs> I did mine tackling Roachie at training and that's how they put it back in. Yeah, they're not much chop, are they? No. Let's not talk about this. No, you give me a bit of a very, very. <laughs> Gary's a little bit more subtle than you. Oh, come on, Kath. <laughs> Kath's into me. You played 17 Origin, State of Origins, State of Origin Eve. Do you get pumped around this time of year? Oh, it's a great, it's a great time of year. Um, it's called something debutants playing for New South Wales this time, so it's always exciting. And you know, Queensland are going to improve. I'm sure they are for the last couple of years, and it's it's, it's always an exciting time of year. You know, origin three games, it's, it's gone to another level since I played back in the 80s. You know, it was mullets, tight shorts and shoulder pads. That's, that's basically <laughs> what we wore. And um, you can throw punches at the same time, but you can't do that now. So it's, a, it's evolved and it's, it's a great game and uh, it's going to be a spectacular three games. Before we get back to tomorrow's game, let's, let's reminisce a little bit. I think the vision we saw at the top there was, was, it was the first clean sweep that you were involved in uh, that were in state of origin. Uh, history. Yeah, well, we, we actually beat the Queenslanders in um, in '85. We beat them 2-1, and then we beat them 3-0 in, in '86. There was only six points between all three games in '86. Could have gone either way, really. Um, so yeah, New South Wales didn't really get fair income to Origin until about '84. Every every year you played at Origin. First game was at Lang Park, and the third game was at Lang Park. So they had a huge advantage. And they, they were a great, they were a great side crash. You know, looking back now, they were a great side, the Queenslanders, and they were very hard to beat. They were, and you've been an inspiring story, Gary, off the field. Uh, front page news last year about your heart attack. You were technically dead for ten minutes, mm. and here you are now. It, it's an amazing story. T tell us about that, and tell us what's on the other side. I guess. <laughs> yeah, well, there's not much there. I can tell you right now, there's, no, there's nothing there. Um, I was. Look, my heart wasn't pumping and, and I wasn't breathing for 10 minutes, so yeah, technically I, I was dead. Um, but what saved me was the fact that bystander CPR, my friend Simon Farnsworth, who, who I do jiu-jitsu, I was training with Simon, he jumped straight onto me and gave me CPR for 10 minutes. And that 10 minutes allowed the blood to get to my brain, which kept, kept my brain alive. Because after about three minutes, if you don't get any CPR, you have brain damage from every... 10% every minute after that. So, so he jumped on me straight away. Then the paramedics turned up and hit me with a defib. I don't think I came good straight away. Um, second time I did, I did come good. Um, I don't remember it until the next day, 24 hours later, is what, what I really recall. But I do remember wherever I was, I don't know where I was. Um, I was in a room, it was a dark room. Um, I was in a corner of the room and I was watching myself and I, and I was standing up in the room and I kept falling over. And I kept falling over and I said to myself, I can't stay in this room. I have to get out of here. I, I can't stay here. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. And I just kept falling over and kept falling over. But I was watching myself from up in the corner. Yeah. So Kerry Packer was right. There's nothing there. It's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> and I never want to, I don't want to go there for a long time. Jimmy, what's the ticker like now? Are you back doing jiu-jitsu yeah, everything? Uh, back doing jiu-jitsu, yeah. Um, they put a couple of stents in. Um, they put a defib in. That's automatic. They put a defib in. I, I walked 25 k's with Roycey Simmons two weeks ago oh, for the it. dementia walk. So yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm back to normal and back yeah, as normal as you can be. But it just makes you just makes you appreciate life and the simple things in life so much more. I was just they, about to ask you that. Has yeah. it changed your perspective on life? Or? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, you enjoy the little things in life much better. You don't worry about the uh, yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. I enjoy just being here every day, you know, getting up in the morning and just having a blue sky and the sun and, you know, seriously, just little stuff like that means so much because it, it could be taken from you at any time. And I, I, saw the, I saw the cardiologist last three years and he said, you're fine. He said, 
He said, I said, what's the chance that we get into 80, Doc? And he said, 90% chance we'll get to 80. And within 12 months, I had an arrest, a cardiac arrest. I mean, it's only in two years, so you should be yeah. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, <laughs> you actually know, you are actually famous among the cricket fraternity. Do you know that? Am I? Yeah, so, like, cricketers, we, we get injured, right? We're batting over, we're hunching over, back gets sore. <laughs> Bowlers bowling, the back gets sore. So whenever your back gets sore, you did one thing, like, hey, mate, how are you going? Yeah, I saw Gary today, mate. I saw, <laughs> saw Gary. saw Gary Jack. Saw Matt. <laughs> saw Gary Jack. Yeah. Saw, wow. Every cricketer I know. No, he says so Gary. Do they really? Yeah, well, yeah. I've made it. You've made it. You've Maybe crossed. I can paint it and make some money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking now? Just to make you enjoy so your stay here even more, some more highlights of you in action. Now, obviously, attack is brilliant. What about defence? Plenty of ticker involved with uh, tackle on the great man Wally Lewis here in State of Origin. Oh. Here you come. This is a brilliant bit of work. Nice work, Merrick Growth. Trust him. Oh, to leave him for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think Wally thought he was just about there, but I've just cut him down. Is that your favourite tackle of your career, Gary? Seriously? Oh, it'd be, it'd be, it, look, that's that's a pretty good tackle, that one. Um, yeah, it probably, probably is, you know. Um, ones you make, obviously the ones that you don't make, they show them all the time. And I often see the one from 89 where I missed Wally. Um, I don't like watching that one, but it's on every year. But that's, that's why I told you to put that one on, because... Um, yeah, can I, well, we made, we made this it. one? This is another great tackle. I don't know if we can see the vision of, uh, of this one that you're involved in. I think you're on the receiving end uh, of this tackle. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, how many weeks did they get for that? None. None. That's, crush, that's Crusher and Paul McCabe at Leichhardt Oval. Yeah. I had the ball. They picked me up, upside down, crashed me into the ground, and uh, I threw the ball away, and the referee said scrum because <laughs> I threw the ball away. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jimmy, can I ask you this? That's 1984. Something you, you don't throw away is the money. <laughs> <You're> quite, <laughs> Let's go back to the tackle. <laughs> you're, quite, you're quite careful with, with your money. There's nothing wrong with that. Can you tell us uh, the story about the bridge, about going over the Harbour Bridge just to save... 40 cents. No, that's, that's, in, <laughs> Is that's it incorrect. That's incorrect. The, the, the toll on the bridge, yes. That's okay, we're, 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 what's the story then? The, the true story is going to Wollongong, paying the 40 cents for the toll. Um, I lived in Wollongong, and uh, in order to get there, I couldn't leave training until 7 o'clock. It would take me 45 minutes to get to the toll booth at, on the way to Wollongong. So if I finished training at 6, I'd go and do extras for an hour, and people thought, geez, Jimmy's been, isn't he bloody great, doing him more, more work than what he should, because... You know, he's very dedicated, but I knew the bloke at the toll didn't come on till seven. <laughs> <laughs> so there was no point leaving, otherwise it would cost me 40 cents. 40 cents. So for 40 cents. Now, 40 didn't... cents is not much. Work it's 40 a lot cents. of money 30 years ago. It's a lot of money 30 years ago. Every day. But, but, Jimmy, I don't need to get a bake from you. Sometimes you didn't come up with the 40 cents, and what, what did you barter with? Yeah, if I didn't have the 40 cents, um, I'd give him a banana. <laughs> And I remember one, one day I was, or, or an orange, Yeah. We, I, I, me and Block used to come up together early days and we got to the toll and if I drove, Block had the, had the money and we got to the bottom of the toll and Block goes like this. I go, oh no. He said, Jimmy, I haven't got me money. I said, oh mate, you know the story. You're supposed to, 40 cents if I drive. I said, what are we going to do? I said, we just hope he let us through. He said, Jimmy, if he doesn't let us through... Bash him. <laughs> Bash him. It's a block, you can't be doing that. So we get to the toll and the blow looks over and said, mate, I haven't got any money, mate. I'm sorry. I said, well, I can't let you through. So, well, if you don't let us through, this bloke's going to bash you. Block is about 19 and crazy. And he goes, <laughs> So the bloke let us through. <laughs> don't resort to violence. No. Quickly, no. <laughs> <laughs> he got sent off 11 times. <laughs> Just speaking, who wins Origin? New South Wales by four. Queensland are going to be a lot better this time than, than last year, so it's going to be a real close game. Gary Jack, great to see you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Very good. Coming up, Jeff of the Week is next. Stick around. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>